Hi, this is Chris with the Seal Boss Corporation. I'm going to talk briefly about injection pressures as it relates to injecting the 1510 by Seal Boss, the polyurethane resin for water stopping purposes. The P2002 is a very lightweight, portable, very well made, and very field serviceable pump that can deliver the urethane at some very good pressures. The pump itself is rated for up to 6,000 pounds per square inch. But let's face it, if you have to inject at that high of a pressure, there's a chance that concrete can spall. So we want to keep things at about the 4,000 PSI max range. A good indicator is by taking a look at our pressure gauge here. So at the front of our pump, we do have a pressure gauge and it's, it's no noted both in PSI as well as kilograms per centimeter squared. Here in the States, we typically go with the PSI and a good way to go ahead and make sure that you have a good injection but also don't overdo it and, and start to stretch the boundaries of the system is to have somebody monitoring the pressure gauge during an injection. The pump is a drill driven pump so you have a Metabo drill that fits very snugly inside of this collar and one key to this is you're going to want to make sure that you seat that drill absolutely flush and down deep enough so that there's no gap between the top of the collar and the actual green on the drill. You want to make sure that that's nice and tight. So as you start to pull the trigger on the drill, you'll see this piston down here. It'll start to move back and forth rapidly uh, and, and with increasing speeds as you start to pull the, the drill trigger even more. As you inject urethane into the crack and it starts to react with the water that's in the crack, that's a good sign. And you should start to see a steady build of pressure on your pressure gauge. As you start to climb past the 1,000, 2,000, and even 3,000 PSI marker, it's probably a good idea to start thinking about letting off of that drill trigger to allow that resin to set into the crack, react, and start to expand and make that compression seal in the crack that you want. Typically what I like to do is, is no more than about 4,000 PSI. And as the applicator becomes more familiar with the injection, they'll start to say that they can quote unquote feel what it is um, as the pressure starts to rise, they can start to feel that back pressure at the nozzle. That's an indicator of two good things. One, your injector is starting to learn the nuances of injection, and two, that the material is reacting with the water in the crack and giving you the back pressure because that resin is now becoming a closed cell hydrophobic foam. So those are some pointers on pressures for urethane injection. Be back with more later.